Hey guys, so I am here today with a chattier get ready with me. Um, I was going to do like a montage one with clips and just, but um, I thought it'd be fun to explain because I am using some new products. Um, but I have to take my daughter to a birthday party, so I figured I'd just throw my makeup on and talk to you guys. I have my hair pulled back into a ponytail, so it's out of my face. But um, Glossier just released their new phase two set. So this is the box. Now, I think my favorite part of the box or my favorite item is their new stretch concealer. And yes, they are doing concealer. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, so I'm in the shade, what is it, 30 dark? And it's a perfect match for me. Super creamy. The consistency is very um, emollient. It's very dewy. Uh, so if you have super oily skin, this might not be for you. But uh, you can even set it so it won't budge anywhere after I set it with powder. It doesn't go anywhere. But it definitely has um, time for you to move it around on your face. Love the concealer. And then they released their sheer matte lipstick in four shades. So this is what the packaging looks like. I love the packaging. I'm like a packaging hoarder. I can't get rid of it. But they are matte. Um, I wouldn't say like full on matte. It's like, like I blot all of my lipsticks. I'll put on a my lipstick and then I'll blot it with my fingers and then maybe use a tissue because I don't like that full on shiny look that you know some lipsticks can leave but these are completely perfect so we have I'll start with the first shade this is cake and cake is your basic um, you know brownie nude everyday basic color which is what I'm gonna use today love it let me see if I can swatch it for you guys um, they're very sheer, but you can build them up as well. The first two colors I'm going to show you are like the everyday sheer colors. So this is the shade Cake. Love that. It's like your lips but better kind of color. Then we have Like. And that one's like a baby doll pink. It doesn't look like that in, like in the tube. But once applied to the lips, it's like a basic cool toned pink. Like everyday pink so that one is this one right here pretty pink then you have the other ones I like these to wear them it almost looks like a lip stain you can achieve that type of effect this one is in the shade jam which is super dark and it looks like it would be extremely but dark on the lips but it's a pretty berry color love this especially with like a very dewy face and just this color padded onto the lips. And then the last color is Crush. And Crush is like um, more of like um, a hot pink or like a fuchsia kind of shade. And there you got Crush. I think they're all really pretty shades. And you can, I think they're very flattering for a bunch of different skin tones. And um, I like the packaging. It's plastic, very travel friendly, uh, very easy. So last item of the phase two set is the Glossier Boy Brow, which I have spoken about. Love the Boy Brow. And it's just this tiny spoolie. I have blonde and I have black. I like to mix the two. Um, just because my hair now has gray in it, so my eyebrows are like pitch black. So um, I have to mix the two. I put black on the tail end of it, and then towards the front I use the blonde shade because it's, it has a cooler undertone and it doesn't make my eyebrows as stark as they are now because they have nothing in them. But um, I am going to put on my makeup and use some of these products and let you know my thoughts. Okay, I'm still a little tanned, so I have to use my Burberry BB cream and I'll use a pump of that and then I'll add a little bit of the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in the shade Rich to make it just a tad bit darker. I just add one drop now. 
before I had to add a couple drops, but my tan is going away, so, so sad. I wish it wasn't, but what am I gonna do? So I'm gonna take those on the back of my hand and just mix the two and then dot it on my face. Normally I would just use my fingers, but I don't wanna get foundation everywhere. And I have to run out of here once I'm done filming. So the less mess, the better. And I'm just gonna take that on a Sigma flat, or not a flat top, I'm sorry. This is their 3D HD Kabuki brush. I always forget the name of this one, but I'm just gonna buff that in. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer and I love the cute packaging, the pot, and I'm just going to apply it with my ring finger. I find that that's the best way to use it or a damp beauty blender and just really work it in. But as you can see, this side compared to this side, it already looks different. And like I said, you can um, build it up and add a little bit more in areas that you need it. I don't like to pile on my concealer, but I just love it. It's so creamy and so hydrating. I just, ugh. When you find something that works, especially me who has, like, I have super dry under eye area. Mm, I have a couple of um, dark spots on my chin, so cover those up real quick. Sticking to creams, I am going to use the new Makeup Forever Pro Sculpt Palette, and this is in 20. Uh, I don't use, here, it's because I'm blinding you. I've been using the contour shade. This is a concealer shade, but that's way too light for me. And then a uh, highlighting shade, and then the corrector for dark circles. I'm not sure when this is going to release, or if it has released yet. I was sent... Uh, this one and another a darker shade uh, but I'll, I'll put all the details down below but I do like the sculpting shade because of how cool it is um, so I just swipe that on like that and I just use my finger to apply it to like the hollows of my cheeks and you can again it's very buildable it blends easily the highlight shade in this is really nice. Um, but I've been testing this out as well. I'm going to take the highlight shade in the palette and just warm it up on my finger and apply it to my cheekbones. I've been really into cream products, things that I look like probably look like a grease ball, <laughs> but um, very, very pretty highlight. Very subtle. It's not shimmery or sparkly at all. So, yeah, you can see. And a little bit on the Cupid's bow as well. I'm going to take a little bit of the H&M uh, Pure Velvet Cream Blush in Cameo Brown, which looks like this. And I mentioned it to you guys in my favorites video as well, how much I like it. And just use my ring finger to apply it. Okay, that is done. Now I'm going to powder the skin and I'm going to use a little bit of the Chanel Loose Powder. And this is in the shade 30, I think? Translucent 3, so 40, I'm sorry. On a Makeup Forever 122 brush. And I gotta be really careful because this is very messy. But I've been liking this powder over top, just buffed lightly to take away some of the shine so I don't look super greasy to you guys. Around the nose. And then I don't touch this area, I like to leave it glossy. Now, I zoomed you in because I'm going to do my eyelashes and my eyebrows. I'm going to skip, um, what do you call that, eyeshadow today, just because I can't be bothered with it. Brush a little bit through the front of the brow. Okay. 
And if you put too much on, just comb it through. It doesn't set immediately. And it gives a nice natural tint of color. Which is why I love this thing. I'm gonna darken the ends a bit with some of the black shade. Now I'm going to take my Shoe Uemura Eyelash Curlers and curl my lashes. And I'm going to take, of course, my Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof Mascara because I'm obsessed with it. I just got a new tube. I swear, if they discontinued this mascara, I don't know what the hell I would do without it. But I'm just going to coat the top lashes really lightly. I can never just put mascara on the top. I feel weird without any at the bottom, even if I do like a light coating. But I have to put something under there. And on my nose, apparently. Now for the fun part, the lips. So I'm gonna take the Glossier uh, Sheer Matte Lipstick in Cake. And I'm going to apply that to my lips. I already have a little bit of the bomb.com as a moisturizer. So it, as you can see, it's very creamy, but I don't know how they did it. The formula isn't glossy at all whatsoever. It looks just so natural and pretty and it doesn't dry out the lips. Yeah, this is the final look. And I think this is the look that I've been wearing on like my previous videos, the routine. I just add some eye makeup, but um, for the most part, this is everyday errands and doing basic things. I'm going to get myself dressed and get myself ready for this birthday party. <laughs> kids running all over the place. I can only imagine. It's at one of those, like, um, it's called Bounce You. Um, I don't know if everyone's familiar with it, but it's like this place where they have all these big blow up things and they slide and there's, I think, blocks that you can just jump into and a ball pit. So it's going to be madness in there. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.